How are you doing guys? T-Brick RC here Since it's Tuesday It's uh, tips and tricks So today we're going to Be solder, solder some EC8s EC5s And some DIMMs uh, Just in case most of you don't really get an IC An EC5 here uh, An EC5 Both of them are compatible uh, as you can see oh. okay let's get started now for today's choice I'm using a little bit of touch right because especially for your EC8 makes life so much easier right okay I'll get this fired up just give it a, a switch on and do it. And we don't need masses of amount of heat here. You know, um, when you think about the tip of this compared to the conventional tip we saw down here. The uh, time it takes to go through this, it's going to be the same thing it takes to go through the amount we're heating here so I'm going to be quick have it heating up as quick as possible to stop the transfer as less as possible through especially if you're soldering wires because you don't want the heat transfer into the wires because heating wires creates resistance and that's a big no-no you know so you want to create the best possible connection before the work before you even start creating any heat the cables now if you're doing that right um you should be able to do something good so uh today as i said we're using a raw torch use some 0 0.8 60 40 now, this is a bit thin for this application but it's what i use uh it's 60 40 mainly used for pcbs etc you know uh sledgery so it's it's good quality to solder uh, and I like it because it's got a nice like stand here so, yeah. so choosing to use glass chopping board and this is this is my uh, my own um, this is unfortunately I don't uh, chop up any onions or anything like that on it thank god uh, some uh, like poison later on Anyway, so first off, we'll just move these up the road, just uh, and we'll, we'll go for a male EC8. Now, it's dead simple. With these, it's uh, really, really easy. I prefer just to give it a wee heat up here, right? A lot of heat up. I'm literally you're talking seconds, you know what I mean? If you, if you're burning this. And you'll see that it just starts to fall in there. Good. I mean, for any heat, boom. It's a nice little puddle. Just as we needed, you can add just a bit more. And now, seconds. Just a quick touch just to keep things alive. Because obviously you're adding more solar, so it has, the heat's transforming, transforming, should I say, transferring from the connector into the solder, so there's more mass, so a bit like a heat sink, if you like. Uh, it's not a problem if that happens. Pair of pliers or any kind of pliers at hand. Get up, turn it round. Still great. So, so I like to, to just uh, make sure it's well flooded in there. And you'll see that the flux is starting to, to raise to the top. Now, like I say, I'm using quite thin, it's 0.8, uh, 
28 wire here. Um, it'll be half a time again if you're using, you know, 1.5, you know, but, but there you go, there's, there's the, the female, the male. Uh, again, it's just quick heat, you know, and I haven't even touched that with the heat, as you see, right, as you can see, we've got a little hole to the side of this connector here, you know, which also helps, and you'll see at a later stage. Okay, so, again, take a little heat, something I prefer just to go through the hole, and we'll put it on. Again, what you'll find with it, with it, thinner solder is that it will melt a lot faster and easier and you won't need to cook the connector because you don't really want to put too much heat in the connector again because what you have you'll see I'll show you an example later on uh, of a connector that's been cooked up it starts to create a little bit of um, not oxidization but due to the heat you know, that comes through from the terminal um, the material it's made from uh, brass copper or other material used steel and which we wouldn't use but these type of connectors you'll see they start to tarnish right when they start to tarnish then resistance between good connection and the female and the male uh, needs a bit of resistance built up so okay so we'll, we'll pop this in here for now uh, and that's about a tin on here now, here's an old connector right for instance whatever reason there's a bad one here so I'd, I like to use this wee uh, well used here's the old um, obviously you want to take off your, let's try and pick it off, right, depends how, right, this was done a long time ago, as you can see it's, it's well filled, but, you know, I could pull back every bit since, uh, do you that, now I to just clamp it in, okay, we'll bring it in here, maybe use it the rods, uh, my right side, left or right hand side, it's easy. Now, this is, I mean, this is a 10 gauge wire. Oh, it's just going to make sound. I need to use, look at that, boom, gone. Simple. Okay, so I forgot any. Any fresh stuff here. Oh, that's just do it already. I can hold these. That's I shows you. I've done them seconds ago, and I'm uh, ready for for putting. The, no need to sit the end. It's all man for a minute. You know, for minutes and then. Oh, so just for this, right? Just, we can clean that up quite 